I, I think the best way to describe calling foxes is an imprecise science. Something that works today won't work tomorrow. There's certainly no silver bullet call that you use that'll work every time. It doesn't happen and probably just as well too. If you're out in the summer of a summer evening and a wild rabbit gets caught by a stoat or a fox and it squeals, you'll see any fox that are around will go straight to it. That doesn't happen apart from when you're calling cubs. Adult foxes are far more wary, but they know the difference. This is a good old standby that I've used for years, uh, which is the wham call. That's been going not as long as my original fox call, which was the wheel off a Hornby railway carriage, which did exactly the same job. This is also a good one from Best Fox Call. Once you get the knack of them, they're good. I quite like the raspy sound. That seems to work occasionally. There's another one here, the Nasher. They are all very similar. Quite a good little one is the Foul Harbour hen, small hen call. Which is very quiet, but if you get a fox in within 50, 60 yards, you'll hold it with a... It's a field mouse call. Squeak, really, not a call. Squeak. The black one is the old original best fox call, which you bite. That works quite well, but not always. If I'm calling blind, I can't see any foxes around. I'll, I'll generally go for the best fox call, the raucous one. It's a copy of the Australian Tenterfield, which, which is a, a good long distance, interest catching call, I, I, I would say, and bring it in a bit closer. I'm not a huge fan of swapping calls. I, I just think that it tests a, a, a fox's credulity a bit because it doesn't happen in the wild. A rabbit scream is a rabbit scream. It doesn't suddenly change from one thing to another. Uh, and then, of course, you've got your hand call, which we always used to use. <laughs> if we move on to digital calls, there's two I usually use. One's a Fox Pro Spitfire. Which has a whole range of calls, fox calls, rabbit calls, all sorts. The one I particularly like, because it's small, the Mini Colibri, which you can fit a little amplifier on. Now, that sounds a bit squeaky. I think you have to re remember when, when you're dealing with calls that you're not necessary. You're trying to attract the fox's attention and curiosity. I've got a friend in the village who was painting his kitchen in the winter, a couple of years back, and he lit his uh, log burning stove and it got too hot and he opened the window and it smoked and triggered his smoke alarm and a fox came tearing down the field right within six feet of the back window to a smoke alarm. But you, I mean, you don't carry a smoke alarm and a box of matches with you when you go out boxing. They're all worth trying, but, but there's no magic call.